Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a favicon and once you have that favicon created, how to upload it to your Squarespace website. So if you're not sure what a favicon is, let me show you. You see here I've got a couple tabs open in my browser and this one on the Canva website has this cute little customized icon beside it, whereas this one, which is my demo site, has a generic Squarespace box beside it. These little designs are called favicons, and they're design elements that are associated with your URL, and they're part of your overall branding, and they're a really good way to make sure that people can identify your websites when they have a bunch of different tabs open, or when they have a list of items in their bookmarks. So pretty much it's just an icon associated with your brand. And you always want, you always want to make have a generic one on display, like the one that I have here on the tab for Charlotte's demo site, which is on Squarespace. So I'm going to show you now how to use Canva to create one of these favicons. So you're going to log in and click on create a design and then we're going to click use custom dimensions here. All right, and I'm going to use 100 by 100 pixels because this is one of the set sizes that Squarespace recommends. So I'll click on that. And with your favicon, you want it to be really simple because it's a very small space that you're working with. So um, with my example, let's start by adding a nice solid color background here. So, yep, this, sure, this gold looks nice. So I'll add this background here. And then imagine I'm going to put my initial CO for Charlotte O'Hara on it. So let me just resize this a little bit. Right. And say, put the font a little bit bigger. And then, sure, a little bit smaller. Let's do 36. Yeah, that's nice. All right. And then put it to my brand font, which let's say my brand font is Lato because I quite like that one. And then to make it pop, I'm going to switch the font color to be white so it pops a little bit more on that gold. All right, so that's what my basic favicon is going to look like. So I will just give my design a title. So let's call it CO favicon. And then to download, I'm going to select the PNG file format because that's one of the ones that Squarespace recommends that you use. So I'm going to download that and it'll go onto my computer. All right, so now that we've got a very basic favicon created, I'm going to show you how to upload that onto your Squarespace website. So here I've made a demo site and this is what I'm working off of right now to give you an example. So you can see that we've still got the generic one set up because we haven't assigned our own customized favicon up to now. But to do that is very simple. So on the back end, you've logged in and you just click over to design. Then you go to logo and title. And then from here, you just scroll down to where it says browser icon or favicon in brackets. So I've got my file format here and I'm going to drag it over into the favicon space. And you can see it's represented here and now I'm just going to click save. All right. So now it's uploaded, but you might notice that at first it's not initially showing up here on my browser tab. And this is really easy. You might need to refresh the page a couple times. So let's try that and see if it works. Refreshing. Yep. And there it is. So yeah, you might just need to refresh it a couple times or depending on your browser, you might need to clear the cache, but either way, it's a really quick fix and your favicon will display in no time. So as you can see, it's very simple to use Canva to create a favicon. And then once you have it, you know, a couple clicks and then you've got it uploaded to your new site. So very simple to do. So if you like this video, um, definitely feel free to share it, link to it, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. I share lots and lots of different videos about Squarespace, web design, development, tech tips, all of that. And there's lots more on my website, which is www.charlotteohara.ca. And you can also get in touch with me on Twitter, which is at Lottie O'Hara. So thanks again for watching. Bye.